Shalom, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Ka Hala, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwedash, double honors to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This is going to be a quick lesson centered around patience because patience is something that we need in this walk of ours. I have a simple Google definition of the word patience. It says the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. All right. And this is something that we must pray for if we feel like we don't have it. All right, which is patience. All right, because the scripture tells us in the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, and verse 12, it says, Hope deferred maketh the heart sick. All right, and our hope is to be delivered by our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. And that hope is being deferred, meaning it is tarrying, all right? And that makes the heart, which is the mind, the word heart goes back to the Hebrew word lob, which means your mind. It makes your mind sick, all right? And if your mind is sick, everything else is going to follow. It says, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. So it's a need that we have patience in this walk of ours. All right. The scripture tells us in the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, in verse three, it says, for the vision and the vision represents the prophecies is yet for an appointed time. All right. So everything is not going to happen when you want it to happen individually. It's going to happen at in a time that already have been appointed for it to happen. It says, but at the end, it shall speak. And we're at the end, which is the end of Esau Edom's kingdom. And the prophecies are speaking. All right. Such as the sea hip. All right. It's speaking loud and clear. It says, and not lie. Though it tarry. See that? Wait for it. And how do you do that? Through having patience. It says, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Because... When the prophecies, all right, hit, such as the Most High putting the spirit upon Esau to put forth his sea hip, all right, it's going to come, all right? We're going to surely know that a prophet has been amongst us, all right? The people are going to know this. Uh, roughly paraphrasing Ezekiel 33 and 33. Everything that we foretold is going to take place. But it's going to take place in its time. That's why Habakkuk 2 and 3 says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. And we're in that process of it tarrying. But in that process of it tarrying, what we must do? Wait for it. And how do you wait? Through patience. It says, Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. OK, because the most high Yahweh Shai and the angels are on different frequencies concerning time. OK, then us. Second Peter chapter three and verse eight, it says, but be loved, be not ignorant of this one thing. OK, so the beloved would be the hopeful elect in our case. OK, it says, but be loved, be not ignorant. And the opposite of being ignorant is to know. So this is one thing that we need to know. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. OK, so one day in the time frame of the most high, Yahweh Shai and the angels is as a thousand years unto us. All right. And. The Most High, Yahweh Shai, and the angels, all right, 
they only have nothing but time. All right. So a thousand years in our time is as one day to the Most High, Yahweh Shah and the angels. All right. So that's why we need to have patience because the Most High, Yahweh Shah and the angels are on different time frames. It says, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. All right. Once again, one day with the Lord is as a thousand years. So one day with the most high, Yahweh Shai and the angels is as a thousand years in our time and a thousand years as one day. So a thousand years in our time is as one day. Okay. With the most high, Yahweh Shai and the angels. So. That's why we need to have patience because the Most High, Yahweh Shai, and the angels are on different time frames than us. Okay? That's why we need to have patience. Okay? The scripture tells us that our patience is going to be tried. Okay? The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 1 James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad my brethren count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations that's right count it all joy the scripture tells us in the book of romans chapter 5 and verse 1 it says therefore being justified by faith we have peace with the most high through our lord yahweh shai hamashiach by whom also we have access by faith unto his grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. See that? Knowing that tribulation work of patience. That's why we glory in our tribulations. All right. Why? Because hard times, all right, build strong men. All of those hard times get all of the dross off of you all right perfecting you it says and not only so but we glory in tribulations also knowing so we have the knowledge that tribulation work of patience so those tribulations teach you how to suffer it says and patience which is suffering or knowing how to suffer experience and experience is to be tried out and experience hope so once you had tribulations all right, and you have patience through those tribulations, all right, which is experience, all right, so meaning you have been tried out, that builds your hope. Because if the Most High put you in a situation through Yahweh Shai and you have your faith through that situation in Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, once they bring you out of it, that's going to build your hope. It says, and hope, once your hope be built up, maketh not ashamed. Because the love of the Most High is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. And in that day, all right, when all hell break loose, we're not going to be ashamed. Why? Because we have hope, okay, through the experiences that we have had, through the sufferings, all right, and the uh, diverse temptations that have been put upon us. Now we know that Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is capable of all things, all right, getting us out of all situations. So that's why James chapter one and verse two tells us, but brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Knowing this, meaning having knowledge of this, that the trying of your faith work of patience, see that? And your faith is going to be tried in this walk of ours, but it's going to work patience, meaning it's going to teach you how to suffer. But let patience knowing how to suffer, have her perfect work, which is getting that dross off of you, building your character, building your hope, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. See that? So let's go back to the book of Romans, the fifth chapter. All right, Romans chapter 5 and verse 3 again. It says, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation work of patience, all right, and patience experience and experience hope. 
and hope make them not ashamed because the love of the Most High shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. All right. And there is a reward once again for having patience. Um, Hebrews 6 and 10 tells us the Most High is not um, unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love. All right. So the reward, okay, that we're seeking the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse verse 35 it says cast not away therefore your confidence which have great recompense of reward for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. See that? So that's the ultimate reward. The Most High through Yahweh Shai putting the laws, statutes, and commandments on our inward parts. Therefore, we'll never leave out of the ruler's seat. We'll never go off again. It says, For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry, which is Yahweh Shai. Now the just shall live by faith, and we're living by those words, man, having faith that Yahweh Shai is going to come. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So if you take your hand off the off of the plow and be like Lot's wife and look back, you're going to get destroyed. All right. You're, you're not fit for the kingdom of the Most High. You're not well placed. The word fit goes into being well placed. It says, but we are not of them who draw back into what? Perdition, because you're going to be destroyed. But of them that believe, see that? That continue in the faith, even though your faith is being tried, to the saving of the soul. Because the faith system that we follow, the belief that we have, is going to lead to your soul being delivered. That's why the scripture says, in your patience possesses ye your souls. Okay? Now the penalty for drawing back Ecclesiasticus chapter 2 and verse 11 it says for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy long suffering but it very pitiful and forgive of sins and save of in the time of affliction see that woe be to the fearful heart and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways woe unto him that is faint hearted for he believe not therefore shall he not be defended see that so that's going to be the penalty for drawing back. You're not going to be defended. You're not going to have a hedge of protection ab about you in the time of Jacob's trouble. It says, woe unto you that have lost patience. Woe meaning what? Massive death and destruction unto you that have lost the will to suffer. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? You're going to be destroyed. All right. You're going to be left out in the cold, so to speak. You're not going to have that hedge of protection. That's why we continue to wait upon Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the book of Psalms, chapter 130, and verse 5. It says, I wait for the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, my soul doeth wait, and in his word do I hope. And the things that we have heard, which is believing the report, the words of the Most High that have came unto us through his in betweens, and those words that woke us up. And allow us to feed the lamb and to feed the sheep. All right. And ultimately, Yahweh Shai, okay, being the ultimate of the word of the Most High, we're waiting, okay, upon what we have heard and we're waiting upon Yahweh Shai. All right. That's our hope. Okay. Now, that hope is being deferred. That's why you need patience. All right. To wait for it. All right. One more reward for having patience Revelation 3 and 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So that's going to be our protective hedge by us continuing in this work, continuing to suffer for the gospel's sake. We're going to have a protective hedge in the time of Jacob's trouble and ultimate protective hedge in the time of temptation, which is ultimate temptation. When the Most High put the spirit upon Esau to come in with his new agenda, all right, with his uh, NWO with his uh, C-hip trying to make it mandatory. 
The Most High is going to put the spirit on us to reject it. Why? Because we kept the word of his patience. It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Let's read that again. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. And that trying process is going to be that chip being presented. Okay. And Lord willing, we continue, all right, in this work, we're going to have that protective hedge on our mind, all right, because the Most High is going to gear our mind through Yahweh Shai not to take it, all right, and that's that's a worthy reward you know, for keeping the patience of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying Shalom DTA.